channel for weeks now, and some area residents say the move is weeks overdue. KTLA 5's Alina Abovian has more. Hi there. Good afternoon. You know, it has been a very frustrating day for residents here in the city of Carson. It's been a very frustrating few weeks. They say regardless of all the red tape, regardless of all the excuses, this declaration should have happened weeks ago. It has now been 21 days and they say, unfortunately, they still do not have answers. We don't have the time to figure out if it's county, if it's city, if it's local, if it's state, if it's federal. We don't have the time to figure that out. Our city leaders get to step up and face us. And even if they don't know what to do, say we don't know what to do, but you are leaving us out here destitute. There are people sick. Residents outside the council building earlier today demanding answers. They say if Carson was a more affluent city, residents would not be in this mess for this long. The odor, which has been attributed to hydrogen sulfide, is more than just a nuisance. They are being exposed to toxic substances. Some people reporting bloody noses, rashes, even hair loss. Today, 21 days later, the city of Carson City Council passed a motion for an emergency response proclamation for this health crisis. City officials telling us they understand the frustration. Unfortunately, there's a lot of red tape. The Dominguez Channel is under county jurisdiction. So far, the city has allocated $300,000 to help residents move to local hotels and distributed more than 600 air purifiers. Additionally, city leaders are asking for Governor Gavin Newsom, also for President Joe Biden, to declare a state of emergency to open up additional resources. This problem could have been prevented. I feel that it was human error and neglect. And I'm calling upon a uh, quick and expedient resolution which calls for the restoration of the channel. But in order for us to do that, we need to cut through all this bureaucratic red tape. What she has described is an environmental hazard. An environmental hazard that's far more uh, deadly, far more impactful than what we saw in Port Arantz and Alicia uh, Village a number of years ago. A group of residents here in the city of Garson, they have filed a class action lawsuit to the company responsible for the fire that may have caused some of this toxic chemicals to leak into the channel. Now, residents also say they want to see more community outreach, more education regarding what is happening here in their neighborhood. In Carson, I'm Lena Bovian, KTLA 5 News. Alina, thank you. Two